The best way to learn a language like French is to go and live in the country where the language is spoken. Another great way to learn is by watching movies in that language. In this lesson, I transcribe basic French phrases from different movie clips and interview clips, and I will use them to help you start to learn the language. Let's start with the alphabet. Note that the ZH sound that you will encounter in the quotes below is pronounced ZH. It's the same sound you hear at the end of the words beige and garage. Repeat after me. A. B. C. D. E. F. G. H. I. J. K. L. M. N. O. P. Q. R. S. T. U. V. W. X. Y. Z. Watch this woman recite the 14 most frequently used letters in the French language. She's doing this for a patient who is 99% paralyzed and is only able to blink when he hears the letter he wants to use in a sentence. E S A R I N T U L O M D P C C. Merci. Merci. <laughs> Here highlighted in blue are some letters that I found a little tricky when I started studying French, because it's easy to confuse one letter for another, in certain cases. Take E and I, for instance. Let's hear the same actress read out the letters so you can distinguish the difference for yourself. E, S, A, R, E. Now let's hear her pronounce U and O. L O And now G and J G J J J J That leaves us with the letter R. In English, R comes from the front of your mouth, r r, but in French, it comes from the back of your mouth. R r. The French R is very tough for people who grew up speaking English. It's similar to the sound you make in your throat when you gargle mouthwash, and that's actually one way to practice pronouncing it. Let's listen to her pronounce the letter R. 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 Now that we've worked on the alphabet, let's learn some salutations in French. I'm not going to go over every single one, just the most common and useful ones. There are three stages in the most basic interaction you'll find yourself in. A greeting, some sort of engaging question, and a farewell. Let's start off with the greeting stage. Bonjour. Bonjour. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Salut. Ça va? Très bien. So, bonjour is hello, bonsoir is good evening, and salut is hi. Now let's ask some questions. You can ignore any words that I haven't highlighted in green. Gabriel, comment ça ah. va? Bien. Et toi? Bah écoute, super. Comment ça va and ça va are the same thing. Let's look at two clips that contain ça va. The first example will show you how to respond to ça va politely, and the other shows you how to respond to it in a rude way. Polite. Ça va? Ça va très bien, merci. And rude. Ça va? Ça va. Ça s'est bien passé au bureau aujourd'hui? Glace. If someone asks you how your day at work went, it's not polite to ignore the question and order them to bring you ice. Comment allez-vous is not as common as ça va, but it's good to know, in case you run into someone like this guy, who looks like he's been electrocuted. Bonjour, mademoiselle Bello. Comment allez-vous? Je vais bien, merci. Et vous-même, vous allez bien? Comment vas-tu is an informal version of comment allez-vous. They mean the same thing. Tu vas bien is a very common greeting question. It literally means, you are going well, but the English translation is, you're doing well? Tu vas bien? 
Bien et toi? Comment vous appelez-vous is a polite way of saying what's your name. Comment t'appelles-tu is an informal way of saying what's your name. If someone asks you, comment t'appelles-tu, you'll respond by saying, je m'appelle, and then your name. Je m'appelle Gabriel. Moi, Emily. And finally, here are some ways to bid people farewell. Au revoir means goodbye. Native French speakers tend to say it quickly, so you most likely won't hear it pronounced au revoir. The E would be removed, so if you heard it in France, it would sound like au revoir, but faster. Listen to these two women pronounce it. Au revoir. Au revoir. One more time. Au revoir. Au revoir. Bonne journée. Bonne journée. À ce soir. À bientôt means see you soon. Let's watch someone use it in a charming way, and then let's watch someone use it in a creepy way. Charming. A bientôt. A bientôt. Creepy. A très bientôt. A très bientôt just means see you very soon. A demain. Bonsoir, demain, excusez-moi. That was pretty fast. Watch it again and listen once more for the à demain. Bonsoir, demain, excusez-moi. Bonne nuit. Bonne nuit, Michel. Bonne nuit, Céline. That concludes this lesson. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to keep track of future videos.